In this video, I want to provide a short proof of Jensen's inequality, which, written in one way, is that the expected value of g of x is always greater than or equal to g of the expected value of x if g is convex. So what do I mean by a convex function? So if we imagine we have an axis x and then we have an axis g of x, we can represent a convex function via something which is continually upwardly sloping, like this blue curve here. What we then do as part of this proof is we mark a certain point on the x-axis which corresponds to the value of the expected value of some point x. And then we draw a line up to our curve and from there across to our y-axis. What we also do is we draw a tangent to the curve at this particular point. So this is supposed to be a straight line. So this line here has a functional form of, let's call it L of x, which is equal to some constant a plus another constant b times x. So this is just of the form y equals mx plus c. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mark off the point on the y-axis here, which corresponds to the y value at this particular point. We know that the x value here is just given by e of x, which actually satisfies our line equation here, meaning that this point over here we can just write as L of the expected value of x, because of the fact that the line goes through this point. And we know that this is equivalent to g of e of x only at this particular point because both the curve and the line pass through this point. Remember here that this blue line here corresponds to g of x. And then we note for some arbitrary x value we can go up to our curve here, so let's call this x primed here, and we could then go across at both points where it crosses the line and where it crosses the curve and we would have here as the first y component L of x primed and then we would have g of x primed which is greater than L of x primed or greater than or equal to L of x primed for all x and that's going to help us along the way of this proof. In order to do this proof we're going to start off by writing the left hand side just as the expected value of g of x. And we know since g of any x is greater than l of or greater than or equal to l of any x, it's equal to only at this value down here. We know that the expected value of this quantity is also going to be greater than or equal to the expected value of l of x. So that's just our line equation of x. Then what we can do is we can actually substitute in for our line by this a plus bx and then we're left with the expected value of a plus bx which because of the linearity of expectations is equal to a plus b times the expected value of x. But we can reason that a plus b of e of x is just really applying the functional form of the line to the point e of x. So this is just equal to L of the expected value of x. And finally we note that L of the expected value of x is just equal to g of the expected value of x. And hence we find our final form which is g of the expected value of x. And we note that we have proved here that the expected value of g of x is always greater than or equal to g of the expected value of x, and hence we've proved Jensen's inequality.